so we know a little bit more about the fate of our municipal solid waste. What goes into the black bin, what goes into the blue bin, what goes into the green bin. Ultimately, the black bin is garbage that goes into landfills, which are that's buried in the ground or just piles of garbage, or incineration, which is burned. And um, both of those are problematic. Um, so landfills are ugly, they're smelly, nobody wants them in their neighborhood, and uh, many countries are running out of landfill space. Um, the garbage that is stacked up or buried um, has contents in that that are toxic compounds often and can leach into our water sources also underground. Sustainable options are actually converting our trash into energy. Uh, one option that's, that's been talked about and is currently used most commonly in Japan is plasma waste conversion, is heating garbage at such a high temperature that it, it uh, vaporizes and becomes energy. And so it requires a large input of energy, but it is a closed system. A lot of garbage inadvertently ends up in our oceans. And this is plastic pollution in our oceans. And this was first discovered in the Pacific Ocean, which is shown here. Um, it was called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, but now it's actually an issue in every ocean in the world. And so what it is, is it is a circular path of the ocean currents, which is called a gyre. Um, in the center of the circular path, you can see Hawaii is in there, but in the center, approximately north of Hawaii, is an area where the currents don't move, and it allows for just a collection of um, of whatever floats, okay? So this is this uh, Great Pacific Garbage Patch. This is shown here. This man in this canoe is not in the middle of a lake. He's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean in a canoe and surrounded by floating plastic garbage. And this is because floating plastic gets trapped in the center. It doesn't end up in part of the currents um, because there's this kind of calm zone. And so it doesn't move. It also doesn't biodegrade. Plastic is not easily biodegradable. And the uh, size of this is way beyond what's shown here. The um, In the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the plastic garbage field is twice the size of Texas. So you really just can't pick this up. Um, who's responsible for picking all this up? It is another um, situation like tragedy of the commons in a sense. Um, we're not giving up or using a resource in, at this in this plastic pollution, but nobody is overseeing this problem, and we all suffer as a result. Plastic does not easily biodegrade, um, especially in the ocean. Even organic compounds like a banana peel, banana peel takes three or four weeks to biodegrade when it's in the ocean. A paper bag, uh, th that takes a month to biodegrade. So some of these synthetic polymers, like a plastic bag or a foam cup, or nylon fabric. These take decades, 10 to 20 years for the plastic bag, 50 years for the styrofoam cup, um, 450 years for this plastic bottle. That is something to think about as far as buying plastic. Anytime you are buying any of these synthetic polymers, they'll be around for a lot of years, whether they are in a landfill or they end up in the ocean. And one question is, how did all this plastic end up in the ocean? It's not because anyone purposely threw a t-shirt into the ocean or a bag or a banana peel. It's because they accidentally make their way into the ocean, often because they're washed down from uh, the water systems, from sewage, and they float. So many plastics float. And so plastic floating in the ocean is a problem for, um, for pollution, but it's really a bigger problem for the animals that rely on their food sources in the ocean. So birds eat a piece of plastic because they think it's food. Or turtles um, get trapped in a plastic because they don't know not to stay away from it. So this is an example of how this affects humans. This is plastic that's washed up on a beach in Singapore. That's not because a bunch of people um, had a party and left all their plastic. This is 
made this is plastic that made its way from that great pacific garbage patch that's twice the size of texas and then eventually made its way to land um Nearly every bird on Earth is eating plastic from the ocean. So these are birds that think, oh, okay, this is a, um, okay, this is a little snail I can eat. Uh, or this is, you know, here's a Pez container inside of this. So what happens to these birds is that they eat these plastics and that plastic doesn't biodegrade in their digestive systems. And so they end up starving. This also affects rivers. This is a picture of Bayona Creek in Los Angeles. Um, after a rain, plastic gets washed into drains. So into the, the street, rain will collect and go into the sewers and then go into collecting into storm drains and collect in drainage systems. So this is something that affects Los Angeles. It affects Singapore. It affects seabirds. And how it affects us is that we end up eating plastic and the form of microplastics that has degraded and has been eaten by fish in the oceans. And then when we eat the fish, we are eating those microplastics that were ingested by the fish. The estimate is that the amount of plastic that inadvertently gets into the ocean is one dump truck per minute. One garbage truck full per minute, that's 24-7, is an estimate of how much plastic is accidentally ending up in the ocean. The Hill the Bay is in Santa Monica and they promote beach cleanup. Picking up plastic on the beach is one way to prevent that plastic from ending up in the ocean. Um, or picking up plastic outside anywhere is, an, is even a better way and you don't even have to go to the beach and that's part of this week's discussion. So any plastic, anything, any garbage that's outside potentially can end up in the ocean. taking citizen action, there's a lot you can do. You can refuse, you can say no to plastic, you can particularly say no to single-use plastic, and you can advocate for a ban on single-use plastic. The European Union banned single-use plastic in October 2018 to begin in 2021, and the state of California also uh, had a bill that was blocked in September 2019 to ban single-use plastics. This is an issue that will come around again. So when it does, support the ban of single-use plastics if this is a concern to you.